Hey, what's up carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke. And today we're gonna show y'all something unique that I'm gonna be trying out. I've never done it before. If you've done this, let me know down in the comments below. What we're doing today is we have got a prepared rack of St. Louis cut ribs. If you're curious about how to create St. Louis cut ribs without having to buy them yourself and pay an extra for that, I'm gonna have a video that's out and you can check that out showing how I prepared these ribs. But that's not what we're talking about right now. What we're talking about right now is individual bone ribs. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I don't know. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna take these ribs and we're going to cut them. I've already pulled the membrane off of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook them this way on the smoker. I saw somebody else do this and I thought, man, that seems like a cool idea if the, you can get the texture right. But we're gonna be cutting these into individual little morsels. We're gonna be seasoning them up like we normally would. And then we're gonna be smoking them. And the benefit here is that where this surface and this surface is usually connected to this surface it's gonna be covered in seasoning y'all and so we're gonna get more flavor on our ribs i don't know if y'all like flavor or not but i do and so this seems like a cool idea to me ribs are cheap so why not <laughs> maybe we'll come up with something that uh changes our lives today what do y'all think is this a life changer i think it is but all you got to do is just separate your ribs just like you always would if they were cooked only difference is, is they're not cooked not yet so now once we've got them separated, it's time to put some binder on them and season them up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coat these babies in some mustard, just like you would if they were still, if it was still a whole rack and just sort of shuffle them around a little bit, make sure that they're evenly coated all over. When y'all are using these gloves and y'all are preparing, you got like your meat hand, you know, the one you prepare with. Y'all ever feel like Ricky Bobby? Sometimes I just feel like I'm just, my hand is just doing this. Like I don't know what to do with my hands right now. Like this hand is like, I want to help. Let me help you. I'm your right hand. There's no time for that. If you can still tell, we're going to go bone side up to start. That way we still get a pretty coat on our meat side. Today we're going to be using Lane's barbecue salt, pepper, garlic for our base. This is a great way just to go ahead and get your salt, pepper, garlic onto your food. It's a nice coarse grain, so it's also going to add texture and it's going to help to capture smoke as well. The smoother your proteins, I don't know if you know that or not, but the smoother your proteins, the more smoke glides over it. If you have a little texture, it helps to gather smoke and create color and bark. Next, we're going to be going with something that I got sent. This is DB180 Perfect Pork. Really excited about this stuff. It's a great blend. It's got great color, so I know it's gonna make the ribs pretty. It's got a lot of herbs in it, which is something I really like on pork. So we're just gonna go ahead, put a healthy dose of that onto our ribs. And remember, this is the back side. So this is gonna be the side that's down. This is gonna be the side that's more than likely to lose more of the seasoning. So don't be afraid to put it on there. If you feel like you need to, to hit the sides up a little bit, ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. That's kind of what the big difference is with these ribs anyways, that we're gonna have seasoning on the sides. We're gonna go ahead and season all of these, all four sides. You ever season all four sides of your ribs? No, you have not. Neither have I. Usually it's just the two sides. I got the meat side and the bone side. Today, I'm seasoning a square or a rectangle. <laughs> My little girl will correct me there. It's like, no, that's a rectangle. All right, so now that we've got the sides and the bottom seasoned, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on that bone side, and we're gonna coat them with the lanes. I love the way this looks, and it really does create texture in your bark. Everybody gets the same amount of love around here. I mean, that's what's in these bottles, right? Love, baby. Pork love. Get a nice coating on there. That way you've got good color, good flavor on each one. And that's our main focus with these ribs is flavor. We're gonna see what happens when you can get even more flavor on some ribs. We're gonna be cooking these at about 250 degrees today. Running competition blend in the smoker with mesquite in the pellet tube. So that's been sweating on now for about 15 minutes. It's time to put them into the smoke. I'm running two water pans today. I wanna to make sure I keep plenty of moisture in that chamber. That way we get plenty of smoke binding. We're doubling down on the seasoning on these ribs. I wanna double down on that smoke too. Make sure that since we're doing it this way that you put some space. Whoop. Run away, run away rib. You ever had a runaway rib? It's a first for me. But you wanna make sure you got space in between them. That way smoke can get on all sides. I've got meat side up on all of these. That way the meat doesn't get dried out too much. Pretty much you wanna cook them just like you would cook a rack of ribs, except for they're just divided. 
divided we stand, united, I don't know, something. United we eat? Yeah. I think that's good. Together we stand, united we eat. Together we stand around the smoker, united we eat these ribs one at a time. Hey, there we go. All right, so we're gonna shut it down and we'll come back and check these in about an hour and a half, give them a spritz. Okay, so we are out here at the pit and if you watch the video for either the foil boat, which may be the one you're watching now, or the rib tips, which may be the one you're watching now, or the cut up ribs, which may be the one you're watching now. I don't know, but we've got all three of those in the smoker and it's about that time, about an hour and a half. We're gonna go ahead and spritz those down now. Let's take a look at what's going on in the pit. I haven't even opened this thing up yet. Let's see what's going on with it. Oh mama, that's a good looking smoker right there, son. What you talking about? Ooh, let's go put a little moisture on these babies. Get everything nice and shiny. Everything looks really good. As far as color is concerned, the cut up ribs are looking the best so far. Everything looks great, great, great. Hour and a half in, everything's looking good. Everything's taken on smoke. Now everything is spritzed with a one to three apple cider vinegar to water mix. All right, so we are three hours into this cook now. And since we cut these ribs up individually, it's very important that we take them out and rotate them. If you've seen any of my previous videos where I talk about the heat distribution inside the chamber, you're just gonna get a lot more heat around these outside edges and across the back. So it's very important to rotate these periodically. I just probe tested these before we started and all of them around like the 160, 170 mark with the hotter ribs being on the outside and across the back. So this rotation is gonna give us a big advantage in that area. So we'll be back out here in about another hour and we're gonna sauce these and then set the sauce for about 45 minutes and they'll be ready to come off. So our individually cut and smoked and seasoned up ribs are almost ready. They're sitting in between that 190, 200 mark. Oh my gosh, they look so good too. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these ribs off of here. They're looking great. We're getting pulled back on the bone. So we're just gonna go ahead, sauce these bad boys, get them back in the heat, let the sauce set. And these are gonna be the first ribs that I eat today, I believe. I'm pretty excited about it. I think these are the ones that I'm most curious about. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever cooked ribs like this? This is a first time me i'm glad that we're getting to try this together just look at the color on them from one side to the other color and seasoning and flavor and deliciousness dear god so one of my favorite sauces if you've seen some of my rib videos i really like sunny sweet barbecue sauce it's really good. <laughs> I get a lot of sauces and a lot of seasons from a lot of people, and this is just one of my favorites. You know, we've all got our favorites. So all I'm gonna do here is just drizzle it all over these things. Nice coat. I'm not gonna thin it out or anything. Typically, when I'm saucing a whole rack, I thin it down. But for these, not today, Jack. All we're gonna do is just roll them around in that sauce. Get them nice and saucy. It's just a quick way of doing it. Kinda like doing hot wings, you know? changes things up a bit. I don't know about y'all, I'm just pumped up about the way these look. They already look so good. The combination of flavors that's gonna be on these, the smoke that's on them, texture, they're probe tender already. And we're gonna give them about another 30 minutes or so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave them spread out. I'm gonna turn them all meat side up, put them back into the smoker. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, get these back in the smoke, set your timer for about 30, 40 minutes because it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. Here we are on our individually cut up, smoked and sauced ribs. We are at the fifth hour, just a little over five hours and they are ready to rock and roll. My gosh, I hope y'all are as excited as I am. Let's get them out of there. Have a look, Let's see at those sauced up babies. Oh mama, we've reached the danger zone part of this video. Y'all know what I'm talking about where Zach has to control his hunger and not take a bite of the scalding hot ribs. Will he make it? Tune in next time to find out if he still has lips or not. We'll see y'all in about 15 minutes. I finally get to taste these things. I'm pretty happy about it. I've been eyeballing them. I think this one right here is the one that I want. Pretty excited uh, to see what it, you know, what it tastes like. It's not gonna be that much different, but it should be a little more flavor than a typical rib. We did get seasoning sauce 
smoke on all sides. That's why we tried this little experiment today. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Y'all make sure to smash that like button for me, become a subscriber to my channel, comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. So let's go ahead and get into the taste. Mmm, that is good. That is what you want. Mmm, you can check out the smoke penetration on that rib. Definitely not fall apart. I don't know what the difference is that it makes, you know, when you leave them unwrapped the whole time and separate them, but just right for me. I don't know how y'all like y'all ribs. If y'all like a nice bite on the rib and a ton of flavor, try this method out. Let me know if you do. Let me know how it turned out for you and what you thought. Man, this is good though. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see y'all in the next video.